the only tool you're going to need, a Phillips screwdriver. What you need to do, first of all, um, I am going to be showing this in quick time. Undo this little plastic flap here. This has not been cleaned or nothing beforehand. If you've, if you've got one of these hoovers and you uh, use it regular, this is how it's going to look. Right, just take that bit off to make it easier. You want to undo every screw and you can see. There's a sticker over this part. Over this part here, there's a sticker. Don't remember, don't forget to remove that one. Undo that screw so you've got a screw. Every little point is a screw. And there's one there. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's about seven. Seven or so there. Don't have to worry about nothing here. You've got to unscrew all them. And the this is where the tricky part is on these. There's two screws you've got to undo that are literally behind this wheel. They are literally, if you get your screw if you get your screwdriver in like this and just lift it a bit, there, there's a screw. There's two of them. There's one this side and one the other side. You've got all the screws undone from under there. All of them. All of them undone. Including that one there, there's one right there. Undo that one. On this top part, now you've now just put this down. You've done the wheel ones as well. These are the wheel ones. These are the ones that are the hardest to reach. There's two screws, one in there, one on the other side. Now on this top part, take these two off. I find it easier if you just completely take it apart. It just makes everything easier. Take them two screws off. This is clipped in. Pull that out. There's two screws on this circuit board. Undo them screws. There's a little part here. Take that off. And then this is your reset button just push that in a bit so you don't clip it so it just needs pushing in a little bit and then once that little clips off there just pull this wire off that loosens up this literally just wiggle around a bit you need to you need to get this little reset pull this little reset button out it all goes back in together easy you ain't gonna have trouble putting it back together you could probably do it from here, and there we go. And now you can get, now you can get to your belt. And as you can, as you can see, there it is. There's the whip in the belt there. There's the whip in my belt. It's only a little whip, but that will cause your issues. To take this out, I'm gonna have to try to prise that up. That comes up. Yeah, fall out the other side. Take the little clip off your belt. You can literally do this in the full lot in 10 minutes. And this is a heavily used vacuum cleaner here. So you can, if you want to make it easier, take that off. And then in here, this is what I'm, I'm fighting with. The belt, such a small fit. There we go. So this is the old belt. And this is where the split is. Get your new belt. Where did I put that? New belt. New belt's right there. Exactly the same size. Old belt, gone. New belt. The easiest way to do it is to get it in there. Just bend it sideways a bit. Hold on. And that's on there. There we go. Belts, belts on the little on the little gear cog. Get this part. If any of these fall off, they literally just clip back in. These only go in a certain way. They've got like a flat bit. Don't worry about it if it keeps falling off. So put that to there. Leave your little cog. Let's put it in. Oh, that will face that way, so that'll go in just like that. And the other side, on in like that. Now that, that's your belt changed. That's your belt changed there. You can clean this all up now, it's apart. You want to push it down a bit. 
so everything slots in. The only bit you've got to be mindful of is the little reset switch. And there is a little uh, a little bit of plastic that's in there. And you just put that back, you can just put that back in there. And it fits like that. Um, what way does it go? It goes like that. So you've just got that. And that's that all. That bit, that bit was giving me a bit of a bit of trouble. It's just that bit there. There's just a little bit of plastic in there that you just have to. It just has to be lined up correctly. But that's in there, so that's done. That's all pushed down. That's all pushed down. Basically, now all you've got to do is do your screws up. Little jar keeps it all neat, doesn't it? This little wire. Squeeze in there. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. So that goes in there like that. This little thing goes over it. Like I say, you do this with a Phillips screwdriver and you're done. About, about 10 15 minutes. You don't need no electrical skills, no maintenance skills. You just need to know how to undo a, how to undo a screw and do a screw back up, basically. Just make sure it's unplugged now. Just remember when you do stuff up, do it tight but don't over tight it. Only little plastic. If you want to know, these two are the smallest screws. The smallest screws that you've got to put back in. These are the two for here. So, a little small one goes in there. Another little small one in there. Put these little wires in their little slot here. So he goes in there and he goes in there. Like that. This little part. Clips down at the start. And there we go. After about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes of work, you've got all this back together. The little wheels, everything's, everything's working. Plug it in. Green lights on, which is a good sign. It's all spinning. Here's your uh, ripped belt replaced. Pretty simple. Just right. You've got two options when it comes when it comes to this wheel part. You can try to prise these wheels off, which could cause them to snap. If they snap, it's game over. Or you could try to rinse it up, lift it up, and unscrew it. That's the only bit that's going to cause really trouble. Apart from that, it's a simple job. I'll leave the link to the. Uh, well, I got this from on Amazon.